Hey guys, so in this video, we're gonna talk about what you might want to do when starting a business and why this is my once a week treat. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I'm gonna be doing a little t-shirt giveaway as well. So stay tuned for that. Afternoon guys. So in this video, I wanna be talking a lot about the real back end behind building a business. Now, not the numbers, et cetera, et cetera, but what it actually takes, what you've got, what you might want to do, the sacrifices you might want to make, et cetera, to try and build your own thing and to really nail what makes you happy. And this was my biggest thing. What, why was the idea? Where did this come from? Why did I want to build Strong and Ginger? And what little sacrifices I had to make? to spend that time in it. And this is the biggest thing when people always talk about not having enough time to build their own business, not have the time to do something they really want to do. And I completely understand that. And I was in that position and I had to decide what is it that I really want to do. So I made some sacrifices. I left London so I could spend more time working on Strong and Ginger. I brought my outgoings as low as possible, which then leads me on to why this is a treat. Dan is also a very, very good point. And if you guys follow uh, a gentleman called obviously Gary Vaynerchuk, he talks a lot about this and that is eat shit for a couple of years so you could eat caviar for the rest of your life. And that is a big thing that I'm focusing on. And that is making sure that I only have one little takeaway coffee like so as a treat once a week you know only you know spending let's say three pounds or something like this not doing it every day buying things in bulk as much as i can bringing my outgoings as low as possible making sure i don't have a fancy car i've got a little range rover lamb rover sorry which is worth 1500 quid is what i call the ken mobile or slash the doggy mobile i love it it's great and yeah it's cheap as chips and it's making sure that everything I do is cheap as chips, not going out, not going to the pub, not going out for restaurants, making sure that I get up early, I go to the gym and I crack on. And that's the key area, bringing your outgoings as low as possible, making some little sacrifices like that so you can go after what it is you want. You know, if you don't like the big corporate job that you have and you have to realize you have to sacrifice a hundred thousand plus a year salary, bring your outgoings down. It's not that it's it's not hard. And the, the, the hardest bit about trying to bring your outgoings down so you can build it your own little business is up there. This is this is up here. It's the opinion of others that you've got to decide to not care about. And I come to realize when, when you hang around with your best friends and the fam and the people and the family that love you, they don't care what you've got. They don't care what car you're driving, what house you're in. They just want to see you happy and want to see you succeed in any area of life. And that's what it's about. So I want to really home in to making sure that you you can bring your outgoings down extremely low so you can build that business. I only have things like this once a week rather than every day. So that has been the biggest start of Strong and Ginger is so I can be a lot less stressed to build and spend a lot of time to build this brand, which I extremely believe in and extremely love. And I really hope that over the next few years, I can build that community behind Strong and Ginger. So many, many people can absorb the same brand, the same idea, the same mentality for it. And this will be a hold of a video of obviously why I built Strong and Ginger. And I'll leave that to the side. But I've heard a lot of stories that are very, very similar. And so it's going to really, that's going to be a really good relatable video for anyone who was in the same position as, as me. But to go back, I'm not in any fancy office. I'm in my bedroom. In fact, this was the bedroom in our house. We've only got, we got a two bedroom house. That's it. This was the bedroom. And we realized that, hang on, we don't need 
a big room for this. Let's sacrifice again our bedroom into an office and we literally just have a bed in the other room. And that's it. It's a very tiny little room. That's for sleeping. That's it. This is where we now try and do all the work. And that's another little sacrifice we made. And it's just doing that all over the place so you can really home in and focus. Another little thing which I've been working on, which you're probably going to, I highly recommend you do, and that's clearing your house out. Clearing your house out. The reason why, as in all the, un, all the unnecessary rubbish that you don't need, the reason why is that because it's clearing your brain, clearing your mind. And that's a big thing I've learned, especially over the last couple of weeks, is, is to have as little amount of distraction as possible so your mind can be as clear as possible so you can become really, really creative. And when those creative ideas flow, you get into it, you start enjoying the business a lot more and you really want it to grow and push on moving forward. So that's one thing I've been really working on the last couple of days is clearing the house, going through every single drawer of clutter, getting rid of it, making sure we've only got you know a few mugs that we need rather than 30 mugs. So it's getting back towards that sort of minimalist lifestyle, going through every wardrobe, getting rid of clothes that you don't need, everything like that. Try and go through every single drawer, under the bed, in the loft, get it all out, because this is all just clutching your brain that you want to get rid of. So I highly, highly recommend you do this. And I'm still working on it, still trying to go through a few things, I've still got a bit more to do. So I really, really recommend to do that. So to really round up this little video, this is a nice series I want to keep focusing on and that is the real behind the scenes of starting a business not the look where I was here I am now okay I've got a massive warehouse now I've got a bigger warehouse no I want to really see and show day one of starting a business day five day 30 day 300 those really early grinding days where actually I'm sure when I look back hopefully in a couple of years time this will be the most fun is doing things like this, doing this type of video. And when I'm extremely busy with doing hopefully, you know, thousands of orders, yes, it's gonna be a different, exciting time, but going back to maybe how simple this was right now. So looking forward to that. So this is a cool series. Hopefully I'm gonna keep continuing to show you the real ins and outs, day-to-day -day grind of building a business and what little sacrifices you might want to look into. So to round this video up, number one is bring your outgoings as low as possible. Highly recommend that. Make some sacrifices, get rid of your fancy car, get a, a crappy little doggy car or Kenmobile like I have. Making sure that you only have a fancy coffee once a week or every other week. Because then if you add this up every single day, if you have two of these a day, every single day, across the month, across the year, it's thousands of pounds which you could reinvest into your company. And that might be the money that helps you jump into a next stage. Another big thing to round up video is being clean, clutter-free, clear, so your brain can be clear to be creative. So clear out your house. Make sure it's nice and tidy all the time. You don't want to wake up to a crap, horrible, mucky kitchen, mucky house. Keep everything clean. Because again, all of that is not what you want in your brain when you want to be creative as possible. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. Please click the subscribe, like buttons, etc. Comment below on what your thoughts are on this. So you can keep following, keep seeing more and more and following the story of how a strong in ginger will build. And stay tuned for more videos such as why I built a brand. Speak to you very soon. So thank you for watching right, right until the end. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna be doing a t-shirt giveaway. So all you need to do is comment below what ginger means to you. What does it mean being ginger? How was it when you were younger? What does it mean to you right now? How does it affect you? My biggest thing was standing out from the crowd. That's how I actually ended up being really positive about being ginger, what being ginger was I was slightly unique and different and I loved it. So first three people who comment below, 
we'll be reaching out and getting you a t-shirt too straight away. So comment below, I'll speak to you guys very soon.